Ah, uh, fiddle again. And hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Chad Minker's Collection Adventure. I'm gonna pick up where we left off from last time. New skill day. I think we've finished our business with the first order in Batu. Just need a couple more lightsaber hilts, and that'll be us finished with all the collectibles that we can get from Batu. Pretty sure we have to do the lightsaber jewels in order to get them. Let's see how we go. Might need to come back and do some more missions. Let's we'll see how we go. I want to try and get Costi's magic level up. Brew in the potion of plentiful needs. Seems to be the way forward. We're gaining magical XP in the lower levels. Get her to take the day off. She deserves it. Nobody ever takes days off for anything. Why not take a holiday day? Drink one of your potions. Get your needs sorted out. Get back working on learning new recipes for potions, new spells, our bills are astronomical. <laughs> it's awful, I want to try and get our aspiration done, but there isn't an option to write songs. I don't know if it's our age, too young to be making money according to the game. I presume that's what it is, but we'll have to come back when she ages up next. She's got big, but she hasn't aged up. <laughs> I assume she's ready to go out and get a job, but no, she is supposed to still be in school, apparently. The biggest kid in school. So have a good look through. Try and find something good. But some of the books... She doesn't have a high enough level to read. It's a bit hit or miss. She's doing well reading one book, but then we decide to give her the mission to go and work at the cauldron. She lights the cauldron, and then goes to put the book down, and gets herself all befuddled, and stops doing both things. It's one of these things I didn't immediately remember, but you can't successfully resume these potions. It's always a case that you have to discard them and get rid of it and start again. It's a proper playthrough with a magic sim when we first got that pack. That was a long time ago. It did come back to me. But it wasn't very good at restarting <laughs> any of the potions. I decided to move this rug because it's not quite such an offset shape, you know, it's not quite right. All it does is reveal to me that the dining table is not quite in the centre of the room. I'll mess around with that for a little bit. Ted gets promoted. Time to pick a branch. Can't remember which one Ripley went down. I think Ted is going down the other one. They both get promoted. Success. I've been away from home trying to do so many things. Kind of neglected the family a little bit. Need to help them get their skills up. Help them with their aspirations for getting promoted. with anybody else. Got a vampire wife, I'm sure she'd be very annoyed. Yeah, we can try a few things. The costly, maybe take her over to the magical realm at some point. Get to meet the sages and learn a few things. So I'll come over to try and do a lightsaber duel. We find that we don't have a lightsaber for some reason. 
you know, if I was overzealous in selling everything and managed to sell it, so I'd go to the workshop and get the gear to make a new one. And then we can do our lightsaber jewel. Yeah, I'm not quite sure whatever happened to our first one. They are rich in space bucks. It's not an expensive thing to replace a lightsaber. This guy is so close. He's never seen space balls. <laughs> all this effort, he loses his battle, you can't just immediately click on them again, you have to go back through the rigmarole. Yeah, this is two in a row before he wins one, and then when he does win one, it's just space bucks he's getting back. No collectibles. That's a bit of a bust. back and continue trying to get everyone working on their skills that you need to get promoted. Ted's probably going to overtake Ripley in that career. Wiki's hiding again, thinking she's going to get away from donating plasma. She manages to resist somehow, and there's not much time before Costanza has to go to work. So, yeah, we're trying to munch a few plasma fruit, but it doesn't do much good. We might need to resort to using the frogs to make plasma packs. Not sure if that's going to be any better. She's got the potions to keep herself going. She's working away, trying to learn the new spells. Easy enough to go to the computer and get some apples. And use them to keep brewing, to level up. Ted promoted again. Design guru. Manages to get up to Acolyte. Yeah, a lot easier when you've got all the gear in your house rather than needing to constantly go to the Magic Realm. Yeah, we will send it at some point, I'm sure. Get rid of some of this stuff in the inventory. Please manage to. Eat the cake. <laughs> so we'll get her to drink the essence. Get her mojo back. Wiki's got wise to it, starts resisting. Have to find someone else to lock on the premises. To act as a plasma donor. So go through, have a look. We'll end up probably picking it all eventually. <laughs> yeah, probably the same order we would pick things when we did with Ted. Winterfest is upon them. So Krusty doesn't have to worry about anything, it's holiday day. Right, strange work seems optional for the grown ups. doesn't get on their back, but if you click into the panel you can send them off to work. Let's go spend some of these points. Get Costanza some sort of supernatural powers. Okay, have a little look, see what might be useful. I don't think we really need to Send people to sleep or things like this. None of it seems that useful. Fly around like a bat might be fun. <laughs> yeah, 
may as well spend the points, there's no point in having them if we're not going to spend them. Try and get Ripley to cook some turkey dinner. While Costanza takes some photos. Try and get her photography skill level up. Try and get the next level of promotion. Just photos of whatever you see. I'm sure it'll be great to get that XP. Look at him. So, such swagger. <laughs> such style. <laughs> yeah, she never wants to stay and do a painting. Send her to do a painting and she gives up after five seconds to go and do something else. Yeah, when we're randomly on the panel, we see the option to go to work. We kind of do want them to go to work to go and get promoted. Even though it's Winterfest, you know. I doesn't even care about the pause menu. <laughs> yeah, it's taking ages to register that we're sending the dust bunnies and things to the bin. Yeah, he's still moving, he doesn't care about the pause menu. He wants to jive, he wants to jive. Love this attention to detail. The vampires have no reflection. <laughs> it's just a floating paintbrush <laughs> in the mirror. That's great, I've never noticed that. It's brilliant. Little things about this game I love. Keeps keeps me going. <laughs> Even when it's stressful and it's not running properly. I'm worried the whole thing's about to crash on me. Details keep me going. I'm gonna get out some of the stuff from his inventory. I'm going to Batu, give him more stuff rather than less stuff. Okay. Redistribute some of our stuff or dyes and things for making things we can give to Ripley for fabrication. The magic potions we can give to Costi. But two stuff we've got, we can just pop out in the little museum area. I don't think we're going to need our droids or anything anymore. So we've just got to keep going back and getting our butt kicked at lightsaber jewels for a while. A few things in our household inventory. I'm trying to resist popping them out, but outdoor shower, that sounds great. <laughs> Move the rocking chair. Just going to pop it down here. Seems fine. We've got a bottle rack, we can pop that in the kitchen somewhere. We've got a tea making station, like a brewer. A fancy kettle. Pop that down here. In our kitchen number three kind of thing. Actually sell off something from down here. That table's always been in the way. Definitely still got too much furniture and I've really got to stop popping it out when I see it. <laughs> yeah, we could uh, trim down the furniture a few items, I'm sure. I don't know if that would help any. I want to make more wall shelves. That bar downstairs. Clearly planned to have a row of shelves all the way along never worked out. It could help us pop out some more sort of celeb serums and things from the inventory. But Ted doesn't really need any more. Maybe somebody in the household would. So we've got Costi reading the books. Figure out that it says underneath it what level you need to be <laughs> to read it. That certainly helps. There's a new Santa appears. I'm sure it's a new one. We have to reintroduce ourselves to them all over again, so maybe it's the same Santa from last time, but he's just forgotten all about us, I don't know. He starts doing infinite push-ups and that doesn't help the game run any better. Yeah, we managed to get all the Winterfest stuff done. Stay a little fairy familiar. A 
notifications are only hanging around for half a second then disappearing. I don't know what that's about. It's a new quirk. <laughs> Not one I've seen before. And when we're getting notifications that she's learning new things, it's poop, poop, gone. She's getting there. Got plenty of potions. Just drink them willy nilly, no problem. So we struggle, we'll get a couple more shelves done. The game seems to hang every sort of second shelf. Right before Ted goes to work, he's going to leave a couple of frogs for his lovely vampire wife. You go and pick up, start breeding the frogs, and see if there's much more juice in a plasma pack than there is in a plasma fruit. So yeah, I'm very hopeful that this is going to be the way to go. It's going to be much more juicy than a plasma fruit, but alas, it was about the same, <laughs> if not less. <laughs> so yeah, it's not the answer. Millie to pick up all the seed packets. Hogging up the garden. And we decided it's a great plan to give everyone loads of points by going through all of the aspirations that have already been done by Ted, basically. They're going to be auto completed. Costa gets never weary, so she never needs to sleep. And then Millie, there's not much she can do that's going to help her. There's not really rewards that are available to her that are any good. Apart from sorting out the social need. Learning skills. She's pretty much learned all the skills she needs to learn. Good storyteller and stuff, you know. Yeah, more smaller things. Ripley being around longer seems to get more of a benefit. More points. The Mansion Baron thing wants you to have earned so much money. Yeah, a fair chunk of points for the reward store. Having other members of the family get frugal might get her bills under 700,000. <laughs> we'll go through, get a few things. Maybe just take care of one need. Make things less chaotic in the house. I'm not trying to get them promoted. Keep them happy. Get them to the top of the game. Make them the best they can be. Decided I'm going to try and do a cheap one. <laughs> and take some people that I don't like up to the mountain since it's winter time. You convince them to get into the rundies and then freeze them to death. But nobody comes with me. They don't fall for it. Which is a nightmare. I want to witness a sim kick the bucket. I ask this guy to go streaking, and he's like, no, hell no, I'm not going streaking. But then I didn't try to befriend him or anything beforehand. So I tried freezing him, even when he's got this stuff on. And this lady's excited to see me. We're already friends to some degree. So she falls for it, has to see her swimwear outfit, and then give her the old freeze. And then when they both get out of the ice, I decide to make them hang around by making them listen to a long and boring story. Nothing happens, even though we're in the coldest place. It's not enough to bump them off, I'm afraid. Good for them, bad for Ted. <laughs> Has to wait for it to actually naturally occur. If you've got any suggestions on how to bump somebody off in this game, do let me know. I'll come back next time. Till then, take it easy, I'll see you in the next one.